Hey aspirants of Arunachal Pradesh, I am Rashidul Islam from Engineers Education Coaching Center, New Delhi. After many requests from the student side, we have decided to make a video regarding preparation of the upcoming exam A conducted conducted by APSC. In this video, I am going to discuss about the different major areas where you need to focus on the different subjects of civil engineering. Let us list the subjects that you mainly need to focus like strength of materials rcc steel highway water supply and sanitation soil mechanics etc let's discuss about detail about the strength of materials in strength of materials if you see the question paper of the previous year every year they are asking the question from sfd and pmd so in sfd and pmd in the previous year they asked the question by giving the particular section of the B. But in last year, it is it has been seen that they are giving the shear force diagram and they are asking to draw the original beam. So to solve the problem from SFD and BMD, you should have the both the idea like how to draw the SFD and BMD and how to get the original beam from SFD or BMD. Nextly. They are asking the question from simple stresses, where you will find that mostly they are asking the theory related to the Hooke's law. Thirdly, you will find the questions from bending stresses. In bending stresses, they are asking the question from Clay's beam, where a I section will be given to you, and they will ask you where the maximum bending moment will occur under different kinds of loading. Again, they are asking the question from slope deflection, where mostly they are asking the question from cantilever beam. They give a cantilever beam and they are asking the slope and deflection on a particular point of that cantilever beam under the random loading. Thirdly, and then lastly, they are asking also the question from torsion. So it's a simple problem they are asking from the torsion. Uh, they are asking the diameter, how to find the diameter of the shaft, what amount of energy will be required to uh, rotate a shaft. So these are the basic problems they are asking from the zone. Now let us go to the RCC. In RCC, they are asking the very basic problem from the working stress method. And in the Levy state method, uh, they are asking the design of rectangular, beam, column, one way slab, and also the T beam design. In T beam design, mostly students take so much time. So, my recommendation is that don't go for the design of T beam, it will take uh, much time from you. So, as far as possible, try to avoid the design of TV. Mostly, a student asks me if the food book will not be provided, then how the design will be uh, will be done by the aspirants in the exam. Don't worry about that, as because uh, AP, APPHC or any authority, those who are responsible to make the question, they will not ask such a question where you need the tabular values that you need to take from the food book. Like if I take the example of the shared design in the beam or in case of a column, the shared design they never asked in the previous year of the A exam. So I can confidently say that you can during your preparation you can avoid those step of the design where you need the tabular values. Still, if somebody will ask you that ask the question from that area, they must need to give those values in the question paper. So thirdly, I have seen most of the time students ask the question in the design final dimension vary from student to student. So they get confused how the evaluator will get, get, get the marks. My recommendation is that don't worry about this point it's because the evaluator will be uh, given a range of answer. If your answer will fall on that range, you will get the 100% marks. Now the question is how to fall, fall the design dimension within that range. To have that, most of the time we use a large equation in during the design. So to get a correct and exact answer, don't go for putting those given data or given values directly on that equation. As far as possible, write the equation, make the simplification of that equation and then finally you put all the values that will give you a correct and exact answer. And lastly, 
as this exam is not an objective based exam so your presentation of the exam uh, uh, answer sheet will also matter so don't go for directly give answer of any question like say one problem you are going to solve then start like given data you write all the given data then say you are going to start an equation then you write we know the equation from the clause or section of the code book or some uh, topic of that particular subject let's start about the soil mechanics in soil mechanics every year they are asking the question from bearing capacities of soil they are asking to find the bearing capacity of a particular soil like clay soil sandy soil and etc so be very sure about the ultimate bearing capacity main bearing capacity self bearing capacity they can ask you to find any of the bearing capacities for a particular kind of soil most of the time student get excited when they found the question from bearing capacities and they uh, directly use the basic equation of the bearing capacity that is for the strip coating so be very sure and read the question very carefully that for what kind of foundation they are asking the bearing capacities to solve this kind of problem my recommendation is that you have to remember three points one is the type of the soil and the value of the pi given if the value of the pi given below the 28 degree don't go for using such equation that is given by darzaki directly because below 28 degree of the pi value the all the formulas will be changed moreover in this equation that is c and c and uh, q and q and half gamma b n gamma here yeah, most of the time student get confused with the unit system they put the value of gamma in kilonewton per meter cube but the b value in centimeter or in mm so be very sure all the parameter should be in the same unit secondly if you go through the question paper they are asking the question from soil exploration where they are asking the different methods of soil exploration the design of sampler like to find the area ratio inside clearance outside clearance etc this year i am expecting that they will ask the question for what kind of soil which method is best method for soil exploration lastly one question in the soil mechanics randomly they are asking from random topics so my recommendation is that you should have a rough at least the rough idea about other topics like consolidation compaction shear etc let's talk about the water supply throughout the year in water supply they are asking the question from impurities of water characteristics of water well and pumps and sources of water out of these topics you will find they are asking the problems on pumps and wells and in some years they are asking the question from aquifer like one year is problem one year is to be and sometimes they are not asking from this equiper topic so in case of this subject you will find that most of the problem asks having insufficient data don't worry about this data you can assume the data like in the design of slope of a pipe using hazel williams the material of the pipe does not given so in this case you have to assume the material and depending on that material you have to assume the coefficient ch value but most of the question they are asking from sewer treatment design of sewer sewer appurtenance and sewer system out of this topic they are mostly concerning in the sewer treatment in sewer treatment they also ask the flow diagram of asp is asked frequently in pre you need to study thoroughly the different classes of loading given by the irc and because every year in every year they are asking the question from the different classes of loading secondly the types of bridges functions their components and most of the time they are asking to explain the particular kind of bridges okay. lastly foundation on bridges and the related problems they are asking the problem basically from the well foundation they are asking the question to draw the sectional elevation and sometimes to explain the different parts of the well foundation from highway and construction 
they are asking the question from geometric design. From this geometric design, they are asking the calculation of OSD, SSD, and also the calculation of super elevation. The main problem with this topic is the insufficient data provided in the question paper. So, in, to solve such problem, you have to assume some values. Let's take one example from the year 2016. They have asked one question, design an overtaking zone for a highway with design speed of 80 km per hour. To solve this problem, you need to assume the acceleration value. So, during your preparation, you should remember the acceleration value for a particular kind of design speed. From the construction of highway, they are mostly focusing on the WBM road and their construction procedure. From the flexible and rigid pavement, they are asking the design processes, alignment and drainage of hilly roads. If I talk about the estimating subject, my suggestion will be that don't attempt the estimating question at the beginning of the exam. As because though the estimating question is very easy, but it will take a lot of your time. So, as far as possible, keep the estimating question for solving at the last of the exam. In the estimating subject, you have to follow the estimation of earthwork for a particular road, then estimation of the building. But don't pay attention on the estimation of the bar bending schedule like for beam, column, these things normally they are not asking. Now, as you came to know the main areas where you need to focus, let me point out some common mistakes the aspirants do during their preparation and also in the exam. As I have experienced in Arunachal Pradesh, most of the aspirants doing their job or indulge in some other works. And that's the main reason they are unable to keep in touch with the subject and also have forgotten the basic, like unit conversion. So during your preparation, you should brush up your basics. And realizing this fact, with the team of ECC going to open a series of mock tests shortly, we believe that this series of mock tests will increase your confidence, give you the idea or guide you how to manage the time and also give you the tips and tricks to solve or handle the problems. I hope that this video will be helpful for all the aspirants. If you want to know more detail or if you have any query, then don't hesitate to follow us on our Facebook. You can leave the comment or you can visit our ECC office which is at Nirzali and also contact us which is given in the description below. I am wishing all the best for all the aspirants. Thank you.